Welcome back to the side to Banasi's 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This is part 15, and this part we're going to do one Bentley mission, which is located right there. So, if you're going to do a Bentley mission, then we have to get back to the safe house and switch from Sly to Bentley. So that's what we're going to do now, before we start the mission. Or the job, if you want to call it that. Or an operation if you want to go with that as well. Maybe you got some new things in the thief net. Maybe we'll check the thief net. I don't remember if I do because this is post commentary as many of you know and as I keep saying all the time. I really gotta stop saying that but anyways I'm not going to stop right now because I'm going to just keep calling you that as long as I can. Or it's not as long as I can but I'm just not going to focus on that at the moment. But let's get up to the safe house and switch from Sly to Bentley because we need to do that. And we're out as Bentley. We're checking the thief net. What are we going to buy? Let's see, let's see. We bought the stealth slide for Sly. So we're going to use that later. I don't think I used it in this episode actually. I don't think I use I actually don't use that many like um moves. I really don't use many moves. I just do basic stuff like hitting and stuff. That's what I do. I usually don't use the moves which I should really get into because it's really helpful. So I should try and do that. But let's do that in the next episode though, in episode 4. But we're soon at the job, where we're starting the job. And this mission is actually very interesting and kind of weird. And the mission is called, actually it's called Leading Rajan. So that's a weird name, but let's start Leading Rajan. expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. So what we have to do is that we have to lead Rajan over to the watermelons so he will get sleepy after he's eaten it and then he'll get he'll fall to sleep and then we can steal three blueprints so that means we have to do this three times make him sleep and then steal from him three times you have to do that but it's not too hard though but if you see down there there's a little guard um, going around him. Basically use these sleep darts to uh, make that enemy sleep if he's bugging you like that. Because these sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. So with these darts we can make some noise and he will go after the noise. That's a brilliant plan Bentley. No it's not really a good plan. It's just normal. <laughs> I don't think this is quite a brilliant plan, but this is a children's game, I believe you can call it that, if you can call it that though. Ah, uh, this is the part when Rajon goes after me. If some guards catch you, or I can see you, Rajon will basically go after you as well. I think he's running after me now, yeah, Rajon is running after me, so I have to run and lose them. So, trying to be a little bit careful because you don't 
make sure he does not see you, because you will fail the mission, basically. So you don't want that. But there's three watermelons that are kind of located on the same area. Kind of. So basically lure him over to the watermelons. He will eat it and he will fall asleep. And then you can steal his spice plan operation blueprints. Three blueprints. And there he falls asleep. So now you can go down and steal the second part of the spice operation blueprints off of Rajan while he's asleep. Beautiful picture, Betley. It's going to be a top model, you know. And oh, a place where I like to go and shoot the darts is up here. Because you can just sit there and shoot. It's ba I, I basically think that's why they made that. So you can just get some stuff. But in the previous episode, as you may remember, we got those spice plants. One of the spice plants was up here. That might be one reason why they made this, but it's a really good place to do this, though. So I would suggest using the tree to shoot the darts. Just a little tip and a hint for you there, if you'd like to use it. Now we've made John fall asleep for the third time. That means we have to go down and steal from him again. I remember that I had a little bit of problems here because they saw me like that. And that was not good. But Rajan basically does not wake up after he's falling asleep, so you can do your stuff while he's asleep. And then I got spotted by, I got spotted by this guy, so I have to kill it, that guy. And then more guys came, so I have to kill them as well. These later stuff that this. Um, a thingy with horns shoots out. It's really annoying. This is really easy to get caught by it like I did there. A burn up. But it's not too long till I finally beat these. I think I basically run down there now and get it. Yeah I do. And then I can steal it. And there we got the third part. What? The blueprints! They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. See you in the next part. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us.